Hi beauties, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady and today we're doing some mascara review. Let's do this. So today we have the brand new Kathy Cat Mascara. This one here is the Kathy Cat Curl and Flare Mascara, which is not the waterproof one. So Avon is just launching this out right now, and I am all matchy-matchy with it, with the purple. The brochure cover is purple. It is purple galore, which is right up my alley. So here is the brand new mascara. I'm absolutely in love with this packaging. It is so redonkulously cute with the little... I want to say cheetah, maybe it's leopard, I don't really know for sure, but anyways, that print, it is really hot. So this mascara is said to be able to help to create that classic cat eye look, which is a very timeless look, we all know it, I have trouble doing it, but I'm still practicing it. <laughs> the mascara wand itself is chubby and it's supposed to help create that really soft, gentle, doe-eyed look, so let's, which is kind of mix up, I guess it depends on what, what kind um, um, liner you're going to use a well so we're probably with a more minimal eye it's going to create that beautiful gentle soft and pretty doe eyed look but if you do like a fierce cat eye this will probably help make it all stand out and put it all together so let's talk a little bit about this product first so according to Avon the FMG Kathy Cat collection creates eyes that captivate while adding a mysterious and seductive touch so this line is a high performance long wearing uh, collection of products that Break makeup artistry to the home, offering eye-centric innovations that are playful yet practical and precise. If this is a long-lasting mascara that features a uniquely curved brush that provides major lash lift with extraordinary curl and uh, impressive lengths, it's supposed to help create that captivating wide-eyed look. So I guess that a lot of the product will be kind of just focusing on out here to really help bring the eyes out words like so. It's long lasting, lengthening, curling, and lifting. It has a wide curved square shaped brush. Interesting. For an enhanced voluminous and lifted effect. And it has the traditional mascara tube and wire form brush. So now let's talk about the key ingredients. So this mascara is formulated with dual film forming polymers that helps to keep your lashes curled. It also is formulated with natural wax gum complex, which includes carnabula car wax. Ugh, words, asaya sengen gum. It's also formulated with a wax gum complex, including these three here, and they help with volume stacking and lash lengthening. Just see what I did there? Instead of trying to pronounce them all of it, Gonna, maybe I'm going to do that strategy a little bit more so I don't brutalize the pronunciation so much. And finally, it's formulated with panthenol, coconut oil, and argan oil, which all nourishes the lashes. So lots of great stuff in here. Nourishing the lashes, which is always fantastic because you guys know how much I love my Love at First Lash Mascara because of all the nourishing properties in it and ingredients. If this does the same thing, it's always fun to try it up. The other thing is also I do find that if you use the same formula for a really long period of time, your body kind of gets used to it, your, your hair gets used to it, your lashes get used to it. And so to, by switching it up, it kind of, it's like switching up a workout. It just kind of, you know, gives it a little oomph and changes things up a little bit. So it's always good. Right now, this is only available in one shade, which is black is black. No word as to whether or not they're going to be coming out with more shades. So let's try this in black is black, which is always my go-to color anyways. So let's open this up. Again, love the packaging. Look how well it matches. Yeah, even my lips. I even have a little bit of purple on my lips and my eyes. I'm totally purplicious tonight, guys. Yes, I'm filming at night because it's going to be a crazy week. And you know what? I might like this lighting a little bit better, to be honest with you. But anyways, let's open this baby up. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm in love with the packaging so much. This is hot. Oh my gosh, this is so trendy, so gorgeous. Ah. I'm kind of in love. Ay, 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 this packaging is crazy gorgeous. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness gracious. All right, anyways, so let's open this up. Oh, it's so stunning. It's striking. Like I saw it and I, was, I got excited. 
All right, so here is the brush itself. Check that out. So it's the traditional wire form brush. It has the curve, so that's apparently supposed to help with the lift. So let's try this out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one coat first, and then we're going to do a second coat. It's very lightweight, and so here we go. I like how dark it is. It is very richly pigmented. I'm thinking about doing a video where I compare a bunch of different mascaras. Let me know in the comments if you think that you'd like to see it. So one coat done. But look at that. That's just with one application. We're gonna do two applications on one eye first so you can really see the effect. Normally, day to day, I usually only do one application, but if I want some extra wow, extra glam, extra pow, I do too. I really like how pigmented it really is. Like it's really nice and dark. It's also a fairly wet mascara and it, there's no clumps whatsoever. Check out how dark that is, wow. That's really dark. Now the only thing I have to say about this is that I don't find that the brush really helps to separate the lashes enough. Um, I know the Love at First Lash Mascara does that really, really well and in part that's the reason why I also really love the mascara. So as for coloration, this is beautifully dark and I really, really like that about it. As for it not separating so much, I'll have to get my brush here and do a little bit of separation afterwards. I'm also going to curl my other side of my lashes. Now, I've been told before that I can actually curl my lashes after I have my mascara done. I'm always very worried about that, but you have to wait till everything is like insanely, insanely dry. Now, I have very straight lashes naturally, and so anything that helps to curl it is fantastic and great. I find that the best one that I've ever used to help keep my lashes curl is so far right now is the Love at First Lash Waterproof Mascara. However, I don't like to wear waterproof mascara every single day, so that's why I don't. So far, I did weigh it down a little bit. So it's not super duper lightweight, but I love how dark it is. Now, if you have naturally curly lashes, you're not gonna have a problem with this whatsoever. I have like super straight lashes, but even with my super straight lashes, you can still see the mascara. Like you can tell the difference between the two eyes compared to my natural lash. Look at that, like it's super dark. That's one thing I really, really like about it. So comparatively, Comparatively, sure. It does its job, it's nice. There's no flaking whatsoever, which is also great. Um, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more first and then I'm gonna see how st if my lashes feel stiff. Let's try the other side now. So complete the look. Okay, even just with one coat, you can see how much it lengthens my lashes. I think I might actually, this might be one of those mascaras that I like as a daytime one that I will only use one coat. You know, this time, second time around, it is actually, separating the lashes a little bit better than the first time. Maybe the first time was because it's the first applique, like first time use ever, and there was just a lot of product on it. But wow, the length, the length of my lashes, guys. For me, this is a big deal. Like it almost touches my eyebrows. Almost, <laughs> not quite there yet. Look at that. That's pretty good. I want to try brushing out this side and see what happens. Separate it out a little bit. You see, you see that clumpy thing right there? I think it's just because I had too much product on it because this side was perfectly fine. I think another thing that I would recommend with for this mascara is that to curl it right before you apply it. Because this side, what I did was I had curled it and then I did my makeup filmed the beginning portion of it. And then on this side, I recurled it again right before applying the mascara. And I feel that the um, on my left eye, the curl is maintaining a bit better than my left eye. That's what I'm noticing anyways. Final thoughts on this mascara is that I liked how wet the formula was. I really did enjoy that. I love how lengthened it is and how dark it is. Those three things, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, it's gonna take a little while to see how the um, the key ingredients affect your my lashes, so I won't be able to say much about that. However, it sounds like it has a lot of great stuff, has coconut oil and argan oil and panthenol, all really, really nourishing things for your skin, and I guess now for your lashes too. I know that, you know, the Love at First Lash Mascara, it has like olive oil in it, and then I believe the Nourishing Mascara has the coconut oil, and I've always loved about that. So I think this is the first mascara that I've ever used that has argan oil in it, and also panthenol, so that's really exciting to try out. I will be testing a couple of different mascaras over over the next little while uh, just because I do also have this beauty here to try out so I'll probably film that one tomorrow and have that one out after this one's done let's see 
it feels pretty soft and flexible still. Like it doesn't feel like I have sticks on my eyes. <laughs> like obviously you can still feel like there's some things on it. But even after doing this, I'm not getting any of the mascara on my fingers. None of it's flaking off, which is really, really, really great. So you don't have to worry about it flaking off, getting your eye uh, uncomfortableness and stuff like that. Does it touch my my glasses? No, my glasses are actually pretty far away from my face, so I don't have that problem. I know that there's some people who have like such length, lengthening action, but they probably have much longer lashes than I do to begin with, that it was like affecting their <laughs> <laughs> affecting their glasses they're getting like marks on their glasses from the mascara i don't have that problem unfortunately but that's okay you know what ooh, ooh, ooh. looking at my lashes through my glasses too you can see that i have lashes that's already a bonus and it, the curl is staying in because sometimes with certain mascaras it kind of goes like i'm so sad but this is like it started here i'm like i'm still pretty happy <laughs> So it's good. Love the packaging. The packaging I'm absolutely in love with. I mean, you can even just do like, if you want, just do a single coat everywhere and then just do a second coat just on the ends here to really kind of beef this part up a little bit more to give you that really like doe-eyed look if that's the look that you're going for. But I am really, really happy with it. I'm, I'm really happy with how it feels. It's not irritating my eyes, which is always nice. And the fact that my lashes are still fairly curled. Those are all great things. So if you want to learn more about this product, guys, make sure you do click on the link in the description box below. And if you have any questions about becoming an Avon Beauty Boss, find me on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube at Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I love you so very, very much. Bye!